So the job section on LinkedIn. So if we want to find that, where we go is up at the very top. We look for the little suitcase and we look for jobs. So click on that. And now we're into the job section of LinkedIn. There's a couple of different elements here and I'm gonna work my way down through them. So the first one is career interests and that'll take us back to the section that we covered previously in this course. So if you wanna edit anything in here, you can go straight to that section using that little shortcut. Then the next one is your dream jobs just a search away. So this is the main function of this page. You can search jobs and you can also then refine by location. And we're gonna get into that shortly. If you have any recent job searches, like they're going to appear here as well, and you can manage your recent job searches. Because you view certain roles on LinkedIn, it's gonna try its best to present you with similar roles. So up here it says, because you viewed I viewed this job recently, content strategist, B2B, Rattleberry, talent solutions. The algorithm's kicking in now, and now it's showing me senior staff writer, content and campaigns marketing associate, community content manager, marketing, brand design and communications exec, and so on. So that can be quite a good place for you to go, let the algorithm do the work and let it show you similar jobs. But I wouldn't rely 100% on that because it's just an algorithm at work at the end of the day. If you've chosen to follow certain companies, companies that you're interested in, so for example, I just follow like LinkedIn and Google, any jobs that they think are relevant to me, so any quite like marketing heavy jobs, they're also going to appear here. And then down at the very end, it says based on your profile and career interests. So that section we completed um, in this previous section to this, and it's gonna also analyze like all the keywords in your profile. It's gonna suggest more jobs here as well. So there's 12 job titles, two locations, because I'm quite specific about Cork, I only get about maybe like two jobs here. So you can see because I've updated where I live and how willing, how far I'm willing to commute, you can see here it says there's a 20 minute commute. But beware because this job was posted three weeks ago. But this job was only posted two days ago. So that's just a very quick overview of the job section on LinkedIn. Now next we're going to search for a job and we're going to filter and we're going to refine a job. So to do that, we click on the search jobs box and you can see here it says your searches. So it knew that I had searched for marketing strategy recently, but for some reason it's also kind of giving me uh, suggested job titles here and this is because I have the word online one-to-one -one training in my job title in my current job title but let's say I'm gonna search for like digital marketing okay so I'm happy with that and the location I'm just gonna go abroad I'll go Ireland just to see what's out there. So you can see here that I've got 141 results. There's a couple of promoted ones here up at the top, and then we get into other ones then underneath, and they mostly seem to be in Dublin, although there's one in Cork. Now, instead of me having to scroll down through each one of them and read them one by one, there's a couple of things I can do. It's sorted up here by relevance, but what I could do is that I might go by post date, let's say, because I only want like the most recent ones. So look at that, that's been posted seven hours ago. That's been posted 12 hours ago and that's been posted a day ago. And I guess for anybody who is out there, you know, going through your own applications, and if you're going through that process, sometimes the quicker and the sooner you can get your application in for a job, you can make that like strong impression like straight off. So it can be worthwhile to yes, search by relevance, but also to search by post date. Now, if we go over here to all filters, so if you've done the, the, the people searching, you'll recognize this. So we have all filters up here and you'd almost miss it because it kind of blends into the background. So I always use the all filters button. And when we expand on that, 
Can you see all the options that we get under this button? It's incredible. So I think one of the most important ones is date posted. So you can refine by past 24 hours, past week. So I might maybe, I might do the past month, let's say. And then you have the LinkedIn features. So has the job been advertised by somebody like in my network? So my network is up to three degrees away from me. Is it easy apply? I'm going to explore that in another section. Are there under 10 applicants? So they can actually be quite good jobs to apply for as well. And we can see 71 of the jobs in this search results are have under 10 applicants. And then if you're quite particular about what you want, if you know that, look, I only want a contract, you could tick that as well or full time, whichever you want. And then locations. So can you see there Dublin 105 and we've Cork has four. If we move on, we can see the, kind of the company breakdown over here, but you can also add in a company. So let's say Google isn't mentioned in that. So if I type in, I can type in Google and it doesn't have any jobs, unfortunately. If we look at industry, I could refine by industry. So if you look at job function, we can add in a job function. But because I suppose I've searched for digital marketing strategy, I'm going to get marketing, sales, business development or information technology or art or creative. And then the experience level. So what level are you at in return in terms of your your career? So you can tick whichever ones there are relevant. And then down at the bottom, you can add your job title. But we can see we have a breakdown. We have digital marketing executive, digital marketing manager, senior marketing manager, marketing manager so you know what i don't really want exec roles i would like digital marketing manager senior marketing manager i'll consider a contractor and i'll also consider marketing manager so i've ticked the four of them location i don't mind location and i just untick google because there's no point because they've no jobs and then i'm gonna see what happened like in the past month what's been posted within the last four weeks so can you see straight away now it's refined it down to 14 search results. So that might take up less of my precious time, you know, when I'm trying to filter through all these results. And I'm gonna flick back to relevance just to see what it thinks is most relevant for me. So there we have one job, Senior Digital Marketing Manager Paid Media Strategy. Look at this, Senior Digital Marketing Manager for Pringles. Love Pringles, might work there. Um, and then we have digital marketing manager down here then. And to be fair, like those all filters, they work really, really, really well. If you're doing quite a broad search and you have hundreds of results, refine it down, refine, refine. But a little bit of a caveat, don't over use the all filters button because you know if you over refine, then you probably get very little then turning up. So that's it for this section on just a very simple introduction to searching for jobs and then how to use the all filters to refine and get a better, more tailored search for jobs that we think we'd like to apply for.